Hello and welcome back to the chicken coop build series. As you may be able to see behind me, the chicken coop is done and it's full of chickens, which is very exciting. And in this video, we're going to show you the process of how we finished it off, what we did to finish it off, some of the... Uh, can you be quiet? We'll show you what we did to uh, finish it off. We'll also show you the process of going to pick up these chickens from our lovely friend Joseph, Farmer for Fun. Uh, if you're not following him, definitely check him out on YouTube and Instagram. He does some really cool stuff. So I think that's enough of an introduction. Let's go back in time a couple of weeks and see what we did to finish this project. Good morning, it's a new day and we're back on the chicken coop after a couple of days of rain. We hadn't finished the end so we'd covered it up with a tarp and uh, the good news is everything is nice and dry inside. The other good news is we just have a few more things to finish and hopefully by the end of the week we'll be done with this project and then early next week we're picking up some chickens. So we've got to get to work and I think the goal for the day is some human sized doors and some chicken sized doors. These doors on the end are gonna to have to wait because we've ordered some new hardware and it's not gonna arrive until tomorrow. I don't like the hinges and the locks and stuff that we had found locally, so we've ordered some online. Hopefully they are a little bit nicer and work a little bit better for the kind of doors that we're putting in place here. We also had a small chicken coop emergency yesterday we had a bit of rain uh, which uh, softened up some of this OSB and the hinges that I'd put into the end grain of the door started to fail. So that's one of the reasons that we've ordered a bunch of new hardware. So we can swap out from these kind of basic hinges to T hinges, which have got like a, a piece like this and then a long bar that comes off. Should be a slightly better way of dealing with some of these openings. So the nest boxes and the far doors will be on hold until tomorrow or the day after, but we still have plenty more work to do today. Ears on. It's fiddly. You know what's fiddly? Doing days of routing without a routing table. In the very near future, I'll be investing in a routing table. As much as I like routing, routing with homemade jigs on a workbench that is not made for routing, it's not fun. No. So this is the chicken door, right? This is the chicken door. Well, do this is the chicken door. Okay. Let me take this off. This is the chicken door. Okay. It is three sections or routing so that we probably actually didn't need to route this but it was going to hold better as a door. Like yeah because we're going to glue it, nail it and clamp it together yeah. to make a door. So then, oh, sawdust in my eyes. This is one piece, imagine it's one piece because it's not attached. The door will sit like this and I'm on the inside of the coop and there will be a piece of cladding that sits like this. And so effectively this gap in here becomes a track for this routed edge to run up like this, over that, and then it will stop like this. And it will be held up by a rope on a pulley system. Um, at least that's the objective. So let's see if we can actually put it all together and make it work. It's good to see you smiling again. Uh, it's been a little, many days of frustration. It has. Huh? We've been... So this is my router jig setup. <laughs> it's not been easy. Uh, there's been a lot of routing. The clamps don't hold the pieces. This has to be a set distance from this so that the other piece... Anyway, a router table is in my near future. They are very expensive though. I'm worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Mm. Can you do 
other thing we could do is put a block here yeah, and then come in from this side because I mean, it's going to be a better fit though in the door. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Chicken door number two. Similar design, but I have a few more restrictions. So same, same, but different. Same, same, but different. And I don't think it's going to have pretty trim on it, but we'll see. This is the only problem with the other place build. <laughs> As if it was made for it. Oh, but you know what is wrong. The cladding pieces. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> alright, I might be able to mix and match these other ones. Looks good. Quick demo. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, I didn't think about that height, did I? Oh, we've got a blowout nail as well. Oh, yeah. Fix that. Give me the height issue. That's alright. Yeah, just good. Good. Okay. okay, the end is in sight, but we've got a few more bits and pieces to do on the chicken coop before we call it done and before the chickens move in. One of the things that I'm going to look at this morning is some design improvements to the nest boxes. Because we're changing the kind of hardware that we're using for the hinging and the locking mechanism, we need to make some changes to the way that the, the doors sit. So originally it was sitting on top of this little OSB sill, ledge, lip, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> but I need to remove this so that my door can now sit flush up against here and be hinged with these T-hinges so it drops down. Uh, we're also going to uh, change how some of the overlaps work so that we can lock it into place on the sides so it doesn't open if it's windy or something like that. Um, but the good news, because we're going to be remaking this back wall and we're going to route out the cladding just like we've done on the rest of the house, <clears throat> it means that I should have enough overhang on the roof to reuse the angeline that I already cut. So that's good. So apologies for the brief musical interlude, but for some reason on this day, my camera decided to play up and not record any sound. So instead of sitting here in silence whilst you watch me wrangle these nest boxes back into shape, I thought we'd play a bit of music. So in addition to making some changes to the way the door was built and hung and overlapped, I also added a couple of extra features, including some roofing membrane to make sure there was no chance of any water finding its way in. And I also added a little bit of flashing above. But I think our small technical issue has resolved itself. So let's get back to the build with a live action soundtrack. Let's try 
I like this. So it's another new day. This must be day 10, maybe, since we started this build. By the site behind me, you can probably guess that I've been out to get some timber this morning because we are running very, very short indeed. And I think it's been stressing us out a little bit in terms of don't make any mistakes, make sure you cut it all properly, measure it properly, work out all the problems properly. But now we don't have to worry so much because we've got, we've got another truckload of wood to finish this thing. Yesterday was not a good day. We didn't really make much progress. We spent a lot of time undoing and then redoing and then realizing that stuff wasn't working. Most, uh, most notably, the egg boxes, which uh, I showed you some of the things that we were having to change there. We remade the back door, um, but it ended up being a bit janky. We had to kind of tie it together, but there was dividers in the way and all sorts of stuff. And then we realized when we hinge something like this, the forces uh, are all in the wrong place and it's all just gonna fall apart. So we abandoned that idea and this morning, while I was out, looks like Kylie has fixed the egg boxes nicely. Ooh, look at that. Here we go. So now we have egg boxes. I did do a little bit yesterday. I put the, the roof back on. Uh, there's some membrane underneath to catch any water that may come through, although there shouldn't be any. And I put a bit of a drip edge on the back here just to hide some of the detailing a little bit. And I think that looks quite nice. And then Kylie has done this. Oh, doesn't look like it's all stuck together, which is fine. Um, but I like the fact that the timbers here are now running horizontally to show that this is a, a door that drops down like this, just like the one on the back, which is down at the moment, so you can't see it. Um, but then it all kind of makes sense in terms of how things work as well as how things look. <sighs> I know it's a chicken coop, but that kind of design stuff makes me happy. So, there is some more stuff to do. Maybe we can get this finished today. We'll see. A design improvement. Because we made the house taller, we needed to remake the windows, but they were too tight anyway, so no problem. Plus now when all of this is open at the back, it'll be really nice. I found you hiding back here. Mm. I wanted you to show me the little bit that you've been, it is bright, hey? Uh, some of this preparation you've been doing here, because I have something to tell you. Uh -oh. Don't tell me you're abandoning this. No. Uh, this is the door that goes in the door. The door in the door? Yeah. So I've done the edge pieces because they need to have no routing. Cool. It goes nicely like this. I've done this other edge piece, which also goes here. And I'm in the process of filling in the doing middle. Doing all the bits in the middle. So I have one. It's got to go there. Cool. Chop off that janky end. I have done another one, I'm in progress on and then there's a final piece. Then they will all get cut and attached to this door. Very nice. As long as you haven't changed our plan. No, I haven't changed the plan, <laughs> but I wanted to capture this moment on camera where I say that my friendly neighbourhood sawmill owner said, next time we want to do something like this, just let him know and he'll put all these pieces through the spindle moulder for us. Yeah, but then when I, how would I learn? How would I learn not to do a project like this again? <laughs> how would you learn to put it through the spindle moulder next time? Yes, well, <laughs> how would I learn about rebates and how painful it is? Without the right stuff. why we want a table saw that does it ourselves next time. Yeah, because we could do this with a table saw. Yeah, so... Next I time. I probably don't need a router table, just a table saw. Yeah, and well, for this way of doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you learn a lot by doing things and wishing that you'd come up with a better solution. Well, now we have a better solution and, and other options as yeah. well, which is good. And today has been a bit better. 
in terms of a bit more patience and less frustration. <laughs> So that wine we drank last night's helped. I can tell you what, there was much throwing of timber the other day. So, shall we get this finished? Alrighty, let's go, let's go, let's go. So it looks like our nice natural roosting bars have got wood boring insects boring into them. So I need to get these out pretty quick to make sure they don't nibble their way into any of the other timber. And we'll have to find a replacement for these. We were so close to calling this finished. I was about to do one last thing inside the coop before we called it done. <sighs> it's been a hell of a project. Should do the trick. Smells nice. <laughs> oh, it is very wet. Let's uh, hide in the shed. Uh, if I stand here, you can probably just about see me and see the chicken coop in the background. The good news is it is finally finished. We put a one last coat of linseed oil on all the OSB this morning which is just in time because today, literally like in the next 10 minutes, we are going to jump in the car to go and pick up the birds. <laughs> so 
So we have now reached our destination, a small village near Fundao, to meet a friendly farmer friend, farmer for fun, our friend Joe, who is uh, a chicken breeder. And uh, yeah, he's uh, set aside some of the best of the best of his flock, so we can pick and choose. Uh, I think the plan is to get four. Is that still the plan? Unless I fall in love with more. Of Unless you fall in, <laughs> fall in love with more, in which no. case we will slowly increase the numbers. But yeah, I'm sure we'll get more chickens over time because apparently that's exactly what happens. But uh, yeah, for now, <laughs> the gateway drug. <laughs> for now, we're after four chickens. Let's, uh, let's go meet Joe and see <laughs> what he's got to show us. So hi, Farmer Joe. Hi. It's nice to see you again, mate. <laughs> nice to see you too. Nice do you want to, to say hello to the lovely people and tell us who you are, what you do, where you come from and what's with all the birds? Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Farmer for Fun. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm a poultry breeder. I absolutely adore poultry. It's my... Uh, it's they my, taste great. They really do. Yeah, it's my mastermind subject. It's my passion. I've kept them for uh, around 25 years now, pretty much. Uh, I started in, in England when I was a, a little, little boy. My father brought me, um, brought me home uh, uh, an orange crepe from the... Uh, from the local cattle market and it was uh, it was full of about 20 20 something chickens uh, and that that was the uh, the birth of my of my passion for poultry can you tell us a little bit about the the breeds that we are going to pick up today yep so we've got um i've got two breeds picked out uh, that kylie said she liked when i sent you some photos mm. i've got some uh, some isas some uh, some rhode island red hybrids um and i've got some black rocks as well so they're uh, they're both fantastic egg laying breeds they uh, they do produce an awful lot of eggs um more so in a in a battery environment which of course uh, we don't no, want to be doing so not. if um if they were given uv lighting and uh, you know <laughs> pumped with all uh, nasties and whatever they would be uh, firing eggs out like uh, mini machine guns but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um but yeah we don't do that here on our farm and i'm no, sure you're not going to either not. So, no, no, no. so these ones uh, they're going to produce a nice amount of eggs for the farm um yeah, they should obviously have a, a much not much much nicer life and and um, yeah, they should give you a nice amount of eggs. I would have said the um, the black rocks. Uh, they're the uh, they're of course the black the black uh, the black chickens that I'm about to show you. Um, they're uh, they're a cross between the ISAs, the other the other um, the other mm. breed, and uh, and the Plymouth Bard Rock. Uh, they're a really really nice breed. They're actually one of my favourite breeds for uh, for egg production, uh, just because they're so gorgeous and they produce a nice amount of uh, brown <laughs> eggs. Uh, the uh, the Rhode Island Reds, the ISA hybrids, they um, they also produce a, a beautiful amount of um, brown eggs, and uh, yeah, they're a lovely bird as well. They're a nice red one, and yeah, really really pretty. Fantastic. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the father of the black rocks, by the way. He's a bit oh. he's a bit wet. His name's Joya, which means jewel in Portuguese. Because he's got the, uh, the gold mane, the silver breast, and the tail. But he looks a bit like a drowned rat today. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> a beautiful drowned chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so, you see this one on the ground, the, the one that's coming towards us? Yeah. She looks lovely. She looks lovely. Yes. Well, they all look lovely. Don't you sesame. <laughs> She's named them already. Yeah, I think lovely. both of those two on the ground are ours, maybe. I think we could be here all afternoon picking out picking out birds because they're all beautiful. <laughs> right. How do we go about getting them in, into the bush? So they're, they're pretty easy to uh, to pick up. They're quite handleable. Um, I spend a lot of time with the chickens. I don't necessarily pick them all up every day, but they're very used to me, okay. so they should be they should be okay. And uh, these breeds are nice and nice and friendly as well. So yeah. excellent. So if we bring the box over. Can you do the uh, honours of uh, putting I'll, I'll them jump into... inside. Yes. <laughs> let, me, let me get the crates. <laughs> Oh, dear. oh, that's a pretty bird, that one there. It was hard to see earlier because they were they were quite wet, but they've dried out in here for oh, now. That's so great. That's I like the dark one. I think the, the, the dark one on the left there yeah. looks really, really, really nice. Yeah. Fine specimens. You've done well, Joe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it must be hard for you to see them leave the farm. It, it's um, it's bittersweet because it's always hard to, to you know incubate something out from a chick, and then mm. uh, there comes the day when obviously I can't keep every baby. Um, but yeah, but your own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll keep her. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, of course it's very sweet to know that they're going to uh, to a lovely a lovely farm like yours. So yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Right. Who wants to go in the car? Huh? Who wants to go in the car? Off. Do you want to come for a ride? Do you? This Grab one, a chicken. This one looks good. It's not that easy to just. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Hey. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, really one. That's one. one in a box. <laughs> oh, 
you okay? It's like okay. she's done this before. Shh, shh. In you go, in you go. There you go. I know, I know. Really? Okay. This is when it gets difficult. No, slide it. Yeah. Sliding. Just... Sliding. There we go. Okay. I mean, we just take all of them. That's easier. Then we don't have to choose. Okay. 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 Yeah, shh, shh, shh. okay. Let's see sliding. Sliding. Yeah. Is, is there enough room in that crate for more chickens? Because uh, you can you can take no, all the ones in there. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Good. We've Do got you? chickens in the box. Four chickens. In Four the box. in a box. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be big enough. Chicken you're, wrangler. You're more than welcome to take one or two more if you like. It's up to you. How many do you think we can fit in a box? Are we succumbing to chicken math already on day one? No, chicken no, no, math, no. yeah. Let's stay it's a dangerous four. game, chicken okay. math. Hey, chickens, what do you reckon? You comfortable? Did I say you should have odd numbers? Mm. I've heard people say that in mm. the past. Mm. I've heard people say that. Well, let's get one more in there then. I'm not sure if I've got even or odd here. I have no idea. I think one more, one more. <laughs> Nate, four yeah. is fine. Four is Four's fine. Agree. We're going to get sick. We were thinking about they were six. Get sick. Oh, oh, yeah. Have you, have you chickened out of getting more? <laughs> 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 so oh, very good, very good. You're sticking with four? Okay. Yes, I'm sticking with four. Uh, dinner! Not no. dinner. I mean eggs. eggs. Eggs, breakfast. I'm actually really impressed that you uh, didn't succumb to more chickens. No, because you need to get the training wheels on first. Yeah, all right. I have many things to learn. Right, there we go. We've got four, successfully, we've got four chickens in the box. I had nothing to do with it, of course. It was all Kylie, as usual. Um, but yeah, that's very exciting indeed. We've got our chickens. Now everyone sees the gossip now. What happened? What happened? What, happened? what was going Where, on Where's there? all the chickens gone? <laughs> they were, where's my friend gone? Aww. Aww. Thank you very much, Joe. Oh, you're so welcome. It's, uh, lovely it's not really a day to be a chicken, but it's definitely a day to be a duck, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> organic feed. Do you hear them? Yes! You can hear them. Yeah. Mm. It's exciting, isn't it? Hey. Okay, I'm closing the human door. Lock me in. With you in there. Yeah. It's like okay. dinner is served. Hi, chickens. Okay. Come on. This one that's got the white feathers, that's sesame. This one with the darker feathers, this is cumin. One Where of these, one of these black ones is going to be poppy and one is going to be nigella. Yeah, come on. Come on, here you go. Which one's the adventurous one? Go on! I love that the cat is eyeing up the birds already. Come on! Come on, Nigella! You like your food? Come on! <laughs> Come on, Sesame, be the brave one. Come on. Yeah, see? So there you go, that is the conclusion of the build series of the chicken coop. Some time has passed and we've had the ladies for a few days now and we've really enjoyed just slowing down a little bit, taking a bit of a break after this long project and just sitting and watching the chicken TV. It's been a really wonderful way to spend some time. And of course we've been observing and trying to work out uh, any things we need to change or improve or modify in any way. And there are a couple of things that we've already come across and I'm sure there'll be others in the future. So I think we'll probably take a break from chicken coop, chicken videos for a while because we've had three in a row. But I think at some point in the future, we'll come back and we'll do a full tour of the coop because we haven't really shown you in detail all of the features. And we'll of course show you more of the chickens, but we'll also add some improvements and show you what we did and why, uh, and maybe have a bit of a chat about some of that stuff at some point in the future. But I think that is enough for now. I'm going to leave you with some footage of our beautiful ladies and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.